Tonight I'm going to demonstrate using the latest version of the MyLaSlick software uh, with its uh, improved, I guess you might say, histogram controls. And I am using a exterminator. It's actually an XT828, which is an upgraded X2 to an exterminator level. And I it treated or used the exterminator settings and it is, it is a very sensitive camera. It's one of the, I believe, one of the most sensitive video cameras you can get now uh, for video astronomy. The exposure that I'm going to be using is at about 10 seconds. On um, I've got the Pinwheel Galaxy here. I've not begun integrating. The amplifier gain is turned off. The camera gamma, I like gamma, I like to use it uh, 0.45. For advanced pixel, pixel control, I use horizontal at zero, vertical at two. This gives me round, uh, rounder stars. And I'm going to go ahead and start my integrating. I'm using a Celestron uh, scope on a CG5 equatorial mount. I have a Celestron F 6.3 reducer on the uh, telescope and a 0.5x reducer on the nose piece of the X28. The combined focal reduction is about an F 4.4 because it all depends on the distances between the optics as to what the actual F 4. Point, uh, the F value will be. In this case it comes out to be about f4.4. And I want to begin by illustrating this how you adjust the settings and in what order you adjust the settings. You begin of course with the camera, uh, the settings that are in the camera itself, which is, are be your basically your exposure uh, and your gain and then your your gamma itself. You're, you're affecting settings of the camera. The next thing that you adjust is the output of the camera, which comes through your video. You know. And you may be tempted to go ahead and go directly to image and start adjusting the image, but you need to adjust your video first before you proceed on. And if you're even before you proceed to the image, if you want to do any frame, um, hot pixel, dark frame, or stacking, you do that and then you adjust your final image. So the sequence is left to right. Now coming back to the video settings, how do, how do you set those? What you need to do is adjust your brightness so your background level is near black. That uh, gives you be your give you your best image. Now you can then run your contrast up, and I like sometimes run it about 80, 90, or in this case, just to illustrate, I'm going to go ahead and go up to 100%, and then adjust my brightness back down. Now. The difference with this new Mila Slick is it has a real-time histogram uh, that's affected regardless uh, of which tab you're on. You will see if I were to adjust the exposure down, and you can see that the, the image itself is immediately shifted because it's a shorter exposure. If I go back up to 10, you'll see the histogram showing the uh, information content is now moved to the right some. So there's the information content. When you adjust the video settings, you will also see that uh, be, uh, be affected. When I was adjusting the background to black, you can see it's actually moving the histogram content is for, to the left. And then the, the contrast is was actually expanding out the information. So I now have a fairly black background with the contrast at the highest setting to as my beginning settings. The next stage I would go to, I'm not going to work with frame stacking right now, is I would go to image to begin uh, adjusting the final output image next. At this point I'm going to stop this recording and I'll begin another one showing how to use the various image adjustments with the new Mylon Slick software.